Some breaking news to tell you about that we're following. Police and sheriff's deputies are searching for a man who apparently fired shots at Sigaville Police, southeast of Dallas. And Fox 4 Sean Rabb joins us on the phone. What are you hearing, Sean? Good morning, Lauren. Let me tell you what we know. This began, uh, we believe this was a theft suspect that Sigaville Police engaged and began chasing. As the chase was going down, the suspect uh, shot allegedly at the police officers pursuing him. Uh, as he tried to avoid being captured, he lost control of his vehicle and wrecked out around Simons, West Simons and Beckett, uh, not far from the Sand Branch Church down there. Uh, Dallas police, Dallas sheriffs are assisting Siegelville police in searching for this man. No officers were injured. That area is all blocked off around uh, Beth Simons, Beckett, Beckett, and Bowers. They believe he's still trapped down in there on foot, hiding somewhere. And so there is a pretty good search going on. They, they really tried to just contain the area until the sun came up. Um, this all went down a little after 6, 6, 6.30ish. So for about the last 30, nah, last 45 minutes or so, really, it's been a pretty good search going down. And they have not located him. Yeah, that's what we know right now, Lauren. You mentioned this started with a theft, a, th a suspect who uh, was involved in some sort of, of theft? That's what we believe. That's what we've been told. I, I don't know if that was from a business okay. or a home. We've not been able to uh, get that good information yet, but we're told he was a theft suspect. Could be that there was a warrant for this guy. They mm. saw the vehicle. Don't know the complete genesis okay. of this event, but can tell you there was a chase. Who shot at officers during the chase, then lost control, wrecked out, and bailed out on foot. All right. Obviously, you want to avoid that one area in Segaville. Thank you for the update, Sean. I know you'll stay on top of that story.